If you're new to TypeScript, you may have seen key of type of and been confused as to what you were looking at. I'm a little confused and strangely not interested, so... Let's break this down for you. Key of type of combines two TypeScript operators. The key of operator takes a type and returns the union of its keys. The type of operator is used to get the type of a variable or expression. When used together, key of type of extracts the keys of a type without having to create an instance of that type. Now let's look at an example. Here we have a person object with three properties, name, age, and email. And if we were to turn this into a type, we could use the type of person. If you see, if we hover over this, here we just get the object. Now, if we were to combine this type of operator with our key of operator, now when we hover over this type person keys, we get name, age, and email as a union, which is just what we were looking for. All right, so now let's take a look at an example that might be a little more useful. Suppose we have a function that takes a person object and a key as parameters and returns a corresponding property value, just like this. Here, by using key of type of person as the type for the key parameter, we restrict it to only accept valid property names of the person object. This provides type safety and prevents us from passing incorrect keys. Additionally, TypeScript will infer the correct return type based on the key provided. As you can see here, when we pass in either name, age, or an email, those are all good. But as soon as we pass in a property that's not part of our person keys, say height, you can see we get the red squiggly. 